my vision of a just world is everyone getting the opportunity to an education and a brighter future. Just world would be where no person would have to go hungry. My idea of a just world would be that everyone would have a home that included indoor plumbing and everyone would have a job who needs or wants one. My vision of a just world is equality for everyone. Same rights, same, same rights, yeah. Episcopal City Mission is a faith-based organization that works for social and economic justice with special attention to the needs of the urban, poor, and oppressed. We work in partnership with the Episcopal Diocese of Massachusetts, parishes, community organizers, advocates, and other agents for social change and economic justice. What is my vision of a just world? In a just world, this question would not be answered by one or a few individuals. In a just world, all people would be authentically involved in co-creating justice. Justice certainly requires a fair distribution of food, housing, education, healthcare, jobs, etc. But a much more fundamental understanding of justice is a fair distribution of power. The litmus test for justice is the extent to which all oppressed individuals, including immigrants, are provided the space and opportunity to empower themselves by being true decision makers in the policies that affect their lives from the fair distribution of basic necessities to political and economic power. Thank you, Episcopal City Mission. Over the last 10 years, ECM has awarded us with $73,000 to support our work to educate and empower immigrants. We work together to learn about our rights we also engage in ongoing advocacy on a state and a national level for the implementation of more just immigration policies. Thank you so much. So to me, social justice is two parts. Um, the first part is making sure that people are safe, that they are taken care of, that they have shelter, um, and that's the most important part, but uh, you know the second part is a little trickier, and that has to do with empowerment and making sure that people find meaning um, and have meaning in their lives, so that they can go on and, and be productive and help others uh, ultimately. So you know, if you think of the story of uh, the feeding of the five thousand, um, and had ECM been around during the feeding of the five thousand, we could have given grants to uh, all those people to go out and buy boats. Um, you know, boats were a lot cheaper back then. So um, we would have then empowered those people uh, economically, we would have stimulated the whole economy, and it probably would have been a different place. My parish, Church of the Holy Spirit in Orleans, was the winner of ECM's Parish Enterprise Competition. One out of three children on Cape Cod is hungry. When school is out in the summer, these children are at greater risk. We were awarded a $23,000 grant to develop a program to feed the children on Cape Cod. My vision for a just world is where everyone's gifts are nurtured and all people are invited to play a role in God's work of healing creation. Training and mentoring our young adults to become prayerful and prophetic church and community leaders is a vital part of this vision. ECM has been a supporter of the Life Together community since its inception. We receive a grant of $70,000 annually to raise up a generation of prayerful and prophetic young adult leaders. And we train them in contemplative prayer practice, community building, and community organizing, all focused on what we believe is God's dream for social and economic justice, both in the church 
and in our broader communities. You know, for several decades now, I've been praying with the figure of Jesus from the Gospels, and I have been studying the figure of Jesus from the Gospels, and always our Lord is interested in bringing the people that are on the margins to the center of our life, knowing that none of us are going to be complete as human beings until everyone on the edges is at the center of our life. And it seems to me that what justice is about is always bringing everyone to the center so that we can all have the fullness of life in God. And what I'm interested in is what's your understanding of justice?